ok, unos inconvenientes técnicos, pero ya está aquí nuestra... nuestra Amir. Okay. Hello, hello, I'm very sorry, oh my God, I didn't know what happened. Hola, Victoria, gracias, gracias por el apoyo. No se preocupe, teacher, qué bueno que ya, que ya solucionamos. Sí, casi nos subimos al poste ahí, pero ya estuvo. Ya estuvo, gracias, gracias. Hello, everybody, welcome to uh, your class. I am very happy to be here. I am very, very sorry for the inconvenience. I was just fighting with the internet. I didn't know what happened, but I'm here. <laughs> and you were like, yay, no exam, because the teacher is not here. Todos estaban felices ya, vea. No hay examen, no hay nada, que chido. No, I'm here. Yo creo que alguno estaba ahí en un poste cortando los cables de internet. I am free tonight. <laughs> Francisco outside my house cutting the internet connection. Vecino, la clave, por favor. I, I went and I knocked the door and I say, again? Come on, it's the last class, I said. Well, welcome. I am very, very, very happy to be here with you. Very glad to see all of you. And for sure, remember that your cameras are very important for uh, the class. And mostly... comer el <laughs> okay, don't worry. Mostly for this one because it's our last session. And we are going to be talking a lot. We're going to be practicing a lot of speaking. And I wanted to start the class not by presenting because i know it is important but i wanted to start the class by asking you one question and the question is why am i studying english okay this is the question that i wanted to start today because the most important thing when learning a language is having a purpose. If you don't have a purpose and you are doing it for obligation, you are doing it because my boss is forcing me to do it or something, you need to have an objective, right? If you have a clear objective for what are you doing something, then it has a purpose. If not, you are just wasting your time. So I need you to have a clear idea, a clear objective. Why are you here every day? What moves you to be here? And you don't say like, ah, yeah, because I like Insafor, teacher. It's very nice. No, the purpose is not for Insafor. Why am I studying English? What is my purpose? So I will invite all of you right now to start with this one. Before sharing your presentation about uh, you're learning on the module and what are your expectations for the next one, I want you to answer this question on the chat, okay? I want you to answer it there and tell me why. Or if you want to open your microphone and tell me on the microphone, that's perfect, okay? So why am I studying English? What is your objective? What is your purpose? Because English is beautiful, it can be an objective, but it's not your objective, okay? So I will invite you to answer the question if you want to do it in the microphone, if you want to do it in the chat, perfect. If you want to do it in the microphone, raise your hand and I will call your name, okay? Go ahead. If not, you can send it on the chat. Welcome everybody. It's beautiful to see all your faces. Uh -huh. Any courageous who wants to do it on the microphone? <laughs> Alejandro, no. Alejandro is like, me, me, me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really. I would like to do it. Okay, Eric, go ahead. Tell me. Yes, I I believe the, import, the, the English is important because for me, uh, I need to uh, get a new job. So in, in this world, in this life, we need uh, to understand the English because uh maybe in all the the jobs that i i can see it's necessary the the english so uh, another point maybe is because i wa i would like to to travel ar around the world so for this reason i believe uh i have to learn english 
So that's my audio tips in order to, to learn English in, in here. In, I don't know, to be here. Okay, that's, that. that's your reason. If you can summarize your reason, Eric, the main reason why you are learning English is because you want a better job. Yes or no? Yes. Or, or yes, am I is. mistaken? So the short term vision, it is a new job, right? A new job. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get a new job, right? I want to get a new job. Okay. And if you say like English is very important. Aha. Uh -huh. My next question is, what else are you doing to learn? And then you can say, I need to. I need to do what? I need to practice more. I need to listen to audios. I need to watch videos. I need to investigate grammar. So those are the things that you need to do. So uh, in this case, in the case of Eric, he will be learning English because he wants a new job, right? Like this, right? He wants a new job. And around that, he's going to say, I need to practice. Okay, I need to practice. I need to <laughs> check grammar. Okay, I need to listen to more things. So what you are going to do with your objective, everybody, right? Porque todos me van a decir su objetivo. Y todos van a hacer lo mismo con el objetivo. With your objective, put it on a paper. Póngalo en un papel ahí. ¿Cuál es su objetivo? And, and put it on a place where you can see it every day. Si anda en el carro, póngalo en el carro. Si anda en, si se ve en el espejo ahí bello todos los días, póngalo en el espejo. Si le gusta ahí peinarse en el baño, póngalo en el baño. Si lo puede poner en cinco lugares al mismo tiempo, póngalo. What is your goal? What is your goal? And what are you doing to get it? I need to practice. I need to listen to more things in English. I need to do this. I need to investigate grammar. I need to talk in English with my friends. So, but if you see the objective, then you are going to fight for it. So Eric is going to write on a paper there, new job, right? He wants a new job. What are you going to do to get it, okay? Thank you, Eric. You were my example. That was pretty awesome, okay? So, okay. la tarea para mañana, aunque no tengamos clase, va a ser mandarme la foto de su papelito, okay? Y donde lo puso. So, because that's your objective, okay? Y aunque yo no esté con ustedes después, yo sé que ustedes van a seguir peleando por ese objetivo. Don't cry. <laughs> ah, no, because it's good. It's good. I really believe on that. Yo, yo de veras que creo en eso. Si ustedes se marcan un objetivo y lo trabajan, lo alcanzan. Pero si solo dicen, ay, qué bonito sería tener un otro trabajo. No, work for it. You have to work for it. So, Eric, go ahead. You are going to set your objective. Next one. Another one. Why are you learning English? Go ahead. Well, uh... I I am learning English because first of all I love it. Uh, I want to convince myself that I can get the enough uh, ability to talk with everyone, uh, to interact uh, with other people. That uh, in the meeting sometime, uh, well, in my job, in my case, uh, we have instructors that uh, came to El Salvador and um, uh, speak all in English. And um, here uh, we don't have uh, the ability sometimes to answer in the same language uh, to try to uh, explain what are our experience in the job, um, try to uh, well, interact with them. Yeah. And for that, I think uh, I, I need to uh, learn uh, all that I can. And sometimes I uh, had a good experience when someone uh, say a lot of questions mm -hmm. I can I can say I'm going to uh, answer uh, your, your, your question. question. Okay, yeah. you want to learn English to perform mm -hmm. better mm -hmm. in your job. Yeah. That is your objective, perform better in my job. So if you want to get more vocabulary, mm -hmm. practice, right? If you want to get more speaking, repeat with videos, right? Try to imitate, 
the native speaking, right? If you want to practice more, go back and check all the classes, get the grammar, mm -hmm. investigate. So to perform better in your job. And one tip, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to participate. Mm -hmm. Si de repente le están hablando y usted dice, ay, que me da pena, me voy a equivocar. Don't be afraid and make mistakes. Do it. Look afraid. Look afraid. Yeah. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it like that. So just participate. Try to speak. Americans are so nice that they are going to participate with you and they are going to talk and they are going to try to understand. So, Boris, don't be afraid. So your paper will say perform better in my job. And you are going to say speak with the Americans, participate in my job, participate in the meetings. Right. Think about it. Create the idea. And then you participate, okay? Thank you, Boris. Maritza, and then Denise. Maritza? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Go ahead. Your case. Uh, I study English because it's necessary for my job. Mm -hmm. uh, in the um, uh, companies, um, I sometimes I need to to watch or review um, a system, a content system, um, informatics. Uh -huh. in, in English, and it's necessary. I understand because. If if I not understand, uh, I cannot uh, make the review. Okay, you can. And, uh -huh. and sometimes I met uh, with um, foreigners in the companies. I need to talk with them, but. I don't uh, uh, command the language. I okay. Cannot, <laughs> cannot. You cannot. You cannot do it, right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, so uh, you want to learn English also to perform better in your job as well as bodies, but uh, you want to do it to achieve to achieve better results. Right, because if you do, if you cannot do it, for sure, you are not going to be doing exactly the things that your company needs. Because imagine if you read the the papers in a wrong way, it's like ah yeah, it's like this, <laughs> and you are going to be doing the work <laughs> in an incorrect way. So uh, to achieve yes. better results in your job. Thank you, Marit. Very good. Yes. Dennis, go ahead. Well, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm studying English because my main purpose is get a good job. And before I always wanted to study English, but I have never the chance to study. Um, but um, in my case, the English is uh, a pretty cute language. I like uh, to hear, to listen in rock music in English. Uh, I like to listen in uh, any kind of music in English. That's why uh, I wanted to, to study English. Um, but uh, sometimes, um, sometimes uh, I think the 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 big problem to me is the grammar uh, the grammar is very confused to me and, and sometimes uh, i get uh, frustrated frustrated because uh, the grammar always uh, stopped me to participate sometimes in the class um, but um, at the same time i i think um uh, learning is very hard. Uh, it's not. It's not uh, easy because uh, we always speak in Spanish, and it's normal. Uh, it's not. It's normal getting uh, getting confused. 
when when we want to study another language. Okay. Dennis said something very important to change the chip from Spanish translation and English, right? It is so difficult to stop thinking in Spanish that you say like, I know, pero como se dice en español? And then you switch because you think that it's easy, but no, you are not helping you a lot. You are not helping yourself at all. So you have to try to build up sentences in English in your mind, not to say like, ¿Qué me dijo? ¿Qué le dije? ¿Qué le respondo? No, right, try to understand the message, grab it, analyze it, and try to build up an idea, right? So, eh, Dennis wants to understand the language better, right? He has always liked it. And he is taking advantage of the opportunity to learn, right? He's taking advantage of the opportunity to learn because he couldn't do this before. So now that he has the chance, he's uh, taking advantage of it. So it is very confusing grammar, you say. You have to be curious. If you like English, you have to be curious. And you say, modals, what are the modals? and go and investigate. Read. Reading is the best friend of learning. If you don't read, you don't learn. Because you say like, ah, sí, sí, yo creo que lo he oído. But you need to investigate more. You have to be very curious. So Dennis, my invitation for you is to read and investigate every single grammar topic that you go and face with, okay? So that's my advice for you. Nadia and then Juan Eduardo. Hi everyone. Hello. In, uh, in, in my case, I, I have two objects about learning English. And the first, uh, I need to communicate with my family that uh, they live in the country and only speak English. And I don't, I don't, um, I have a difficult, um, but communicate with with them and objective two is is i have a a better job um that's only okay Thank to you. communicate better with your family that is nice yeah. if you have the chance to have people who speak english you have a treasure right we all want that yo quisiera tener uno que hable inglés todo el tiempo it's like, yeah, that would be fantastic. If you have that, Nadia, practice with them. Listen to them, listen to their accent, listen to their sentences. So try to communicate and learn from that. So, and for sure, once you do it and once you polish your language, you are going to have the chance to get a better job. Thank you, Nadia. Very good job. Juan Eduardo, please. <laughs> Eduardo, and I will talk about my experience in the English class. Well, I like to learn. The English uh -huh. class language has been a change for me. Sometimes, for example, I don't have time or I have work at night, but I practice every day in my free time. Sometimes it's difficult for me to understand some words. Uh, I like when we make groups because I speak more freely. The class is very fun and my teacher is very good. I have learned a lot. I appreciate the opportunity the English cooperative with us. In the next course, I hope to learn more. I will continue study a lot. Uh, speaking, study English has become a dream for me. Okay, hey, Juan Eduardo, what is your main purpose? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> what is your main purpose? ¿Cuál es tu razón principal para aprender inglés? No sé, desde pequeño siempre como ver que platicaba y ser suelto en otro idioma. Ok, that's your dream. You're following your dream to learn English. But practice. Practice is going to give you perfection. That's the only way. 
Perfecto. Juan Eduardo, thank you for your nice words. Thank you for sharing also the second part of the presentation about why did you like the module. But the main objective for Juan Eduardo is to reach a lifelong dream. To reach a lifelong dream. It is something that you have always wanted, right? If you have always wanted it, fight for that. Okay, thank you, Juan Eduardo. Who's next? Can see it. Who's next? Uh, I know. Okay, okay. Um, uh, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I am here. I can listen to you. Yes, I can okay. listen to you. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, for me, it's uh, very important to learn English because in my work, I need it. I a student uh, exchange come and I have to, to attend to them. It is very uncomfortable for me to communicate with them by means in speak. Okay, so that is your main objective, Noemi. Do you use it in your normal life? In which cases do you use it? Noemi, in which cases do you use English? In the, uh, and they, uh, information at the visit, uh, libros, books. Books, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you uh, use it, uh -huh. Señas, nada más. <laughs> <laughs> you have to... Okay, so... Body language. <laughs> no, but it is, it is important, <laughs> Noemi. It is important. You, I mean, you understand a lot of the language, but okay. it is important that you don't be afraid of participating because mm -hmm. the worst enemy that we have is here, right? Mm -hmm. The worst enemy that we have with English is here in your head. And you say like, yeah. te vas a equivocar, no te vas a salir, te vas a trabar. But it's here in your head. I mean, try to participate, try to do it, right? It's not with body language. Imagine if you go in the life like that, you cannot do it like that, right? No podemos ir por la vida enseñándoles el papelito así. <laughs> what you want to do, no. So try, try to speak, try to practice, right? Imitate, okay. be fluent. So. Don't be afraid, Noemi. That's good. Good. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Daisy, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi. My main reason that motive, motivates me to learn English is um, that I want to learn to express what I think, uh, write songs in English, I like it, and sing the song in English. I also want to tra travel to the United States to visit my sister and my nephew and be able to communicate it with them. Okay, your dream to Thank go you. visit them and communicate with them. I I can reflect on you when you say, I want to sing songs in English. I want to understand the songs in English. Because when I was very young, when I was like nine years old, my father told me, no andes cantando nada que no entendes. And I was like, okay, I said, that was my challenge. And I was like, ah, okay, let me understand. And I was with the dictionary there translating songs <laughs> to see what was the meaning, right? But then when I knew the meanings, I was singing the songs, right? But then I said like, I can do with one, I can do it with all the songs. And that's why <laughs> I learned English. That's how I learned English. And when my father listened to me singing, he told me, ¿Qué andas cantando? and I said, it is a song about this and this and this. And he was like, 
it's true. <laughs> because he knew English, right? So, Daisy, if that's your dream, if that's what you want to do, be consistent. And now you have a lot of elements in the internet, right? Yo tenía el diccionario y un internet super lento. But now you have their internet and you can look for the lyrics, analyze them, read them, listen to the song, repeat the song, and look for the meaning in Spanish. So it is going to be good. So do it, Daisy. Thank you very much. Another one. Thank you. Jenny, go ahead. And then Erika. Hi. My import for me it's important to learn English because I need to help my daughter in, in her work homework. <laughs> and, <What? laughs> and I I think it's important for my job too. And because I like to listen to music in English and I want to understand this song and I I usually can I I usually I I I can to travel and it's very important to express in other languages because I can uh, communicate with other people. Okay. Uh -huh. And I, I have a, a experience in, in the United States and my nephew, my nephew, is, how do you say, hablaba por mi? <laughs> he spoke for you. Come on. <laughs> but but in, 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 in one occasion, I, I, I stay alone and I need to express yes. and I I say to the cashier, speak more slowly, more slowly, please. No, but it's Yes, I can I can understand, but speak slowly, please. And I can to express with them, with him, and I I I feel happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You yeah. see, that's that's the only thing, right? When you break the barrier of fear. You conquer, you conquer it, right? La idea es solo romper esa barrera del miedo. Darte cuenta que sí puedes hacerlo. So even if it is slow, if it is, even if it is a, a two or three words, right? Or when, when you were born, just tell me if I'm mistaken. Cuando nacieron, nacieron diciendo frases completas. No. Oh, madre, regálame agua, por favor. Gracias, eres muy amable. No, right? It's the same in English. It's the same in English. You say like water. I need water. Can you give me water? Could you be so kind to give me water? Oh, thank you very much for the water. I really needed it. But it's a process, right? It's a process of learning. Even one, two, three words, but use them, right? Use your, and you have a lot of vocabulary now. Use it, Jenny. And the good purpose to help my daughter because you are going to be an example for her. That's very good. That's very good. Thank you, Jenny. Very good job. Erika. Okay, um, I need to uh, learn English because uh, I, I need to find New York opportunities. opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's important to speak English for to get a best offer and get more money. Uh, um, I would like to speak English too because I I want to I want to travel in other countries and and I think that is it is important to communicate with other people. Okay, it is important to communicate, right? If you want to travel and if you want to get better job opportunities, English is the key, right? In the past, it was like, ya se graduó, tiene el título y todo. <laughs> now they say like, did you finish university? Yeah, good. Do you know English? No. Okay, don't call me. I will call you. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they never call because it is important, right? Do you know Excel? No. Uh, sorry, don't call me. I will call you. So it is very important to know those skills. So Erika, keep fighting for your dream. 
to get a better job opportunity. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Erika. Okay. Dina, thank you. Dina, go ahead. Good evening, teacher and class. Uh, the question why I am I studying English? Because I I went to understand conversation and and news in movie and presentation in English and open a very uh, young opportunity and travel. Okay, and also to travel. Thank you, Dina. Do it in a specific points, right? To have a better job, to understand things, to understand movies, to have a opportunity to travel, right? Movies with subtitles, but in English, not in Spanish, right? English uh, audio and English subtitles and try to read in English to get vocabulary. So that is a good tip that you can do. Thank you, Dina. Who's next? Next, next, next. <coughs> okay, go ahead, Francisco. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. In my case, uh, I am studying English for principal um, learn new new uh, language. Um, um, I understand my new language, uh, principal. Um, I have a problem uh, in, in my case. Um, I don't remember uh, totally uh, the words, um, uh, formula, um, um, sentences. Sentences, yeah, yeah. Um, it's my problem that the, the children, I don't remember uh, all. Um, in, in my case, I, I am here um, five minutes. Uh, what is the layer? That's a very I layer, 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 layer. Uh, I have, I, my problem is in case uh, I understand uh, last um, one month, two months. Ah, is this? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Other problem is for uh, I am fear. I am feel um speak. I am, I am uh, afraid. You say I am afraid. afraid. Sorry, <laughs> I am afraid speak. I am afraid um, read English. Uh, I, I am three really and three to read. I am three um speak. Um, it's important principal uh, for communicate communicate with uh, other other people. And understand English is is read or movie or music. Um, como usted dice, no cantar lo que uno no entiende. Hey, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it, for me, English is very difficult. Uh, I phrase uh, to significate is two or, or, or two one etc. Example. Um, angry, uh, hungry. Um, siempre me equivoco con esas dos frases. Uh, okay. The pronunciation is very, very difficult for me. Example, thunder, thunder is different for uh, pronunciation. Really, and three, uh, I love, uh, I, I love uh, learn is English or other material. Uh, is important for no solo para trabajo, no solo para job, sino para uno mismo. I, I myself, um, no sé qué más decir. <laughs> no, it's okay. Francisco, according to your problem, if you say, yeah. I always forget, mm -hmm. you need to work a lot on writing, okay? Do you remember at the beginning of the module when I said, every day, write your ideas in English? Do it. Because in that case, you can actually see what you are thinking. You can organize your thoughts. You can say, uy, pero esta frase no dice nada. I need to organize it, right? It doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't have any meaning. So you can put it on writing and you can do it. Another thing that can help you a lot is reading comprehension, reading and listening at the same time. Yeah, so for, for, uh, for example, I am, um, I am listening to verbs. Uh -huh. Learn, learn, learn. Uh, for me, problem is difficult, but I am three, I am three. 
I okay, you are trying, you are trying. Right. The Sorry. best way to learn the verbs, get the verb and write sentences with them. No solo se aprendan la lista, agarren 10 verbos y hagan 10 oraciones. Okay, búsquenlos en un párrafo, busquen eh, diferentes usos de los verbos. Not only, uh, eat, ate, eaten. Yeah, I have it. Aha, but how do I use it? So, good, put it on practice. Thank you, Francisco. Alejandro, okay, go ahead. Teacher, I am not. <laughs> no, but you, you have, you hand. have your, you have your hand like this, and I say, ah, he wants to participate. Now, but you share, with, share with no, us. I what? was, uh, I was rest my, my rest, ear. rest oh, in your ear. Yes, uh, no, but no problem. Um, my main um, um, purpose, mm -hmm. yeah, to purpose. learn English is um, because I need uh, a second and maybe a third language as a, as a tool to my job. Okay. So, and I need, I need uh, the languages too uh, uh, for, for to, to learn another, uh, another skills about my job. That okay. The, which which the information is only in another languages because there is a uh, information information uh, uh, very new for example and and this information doesn't uh, traduce to the spanish and it's not translated it's not translated to spanish so i have a problem because i i don't know what say <laughs> uh -huh. so what's the so, meaning of that what's the meaning of that yes and and, and i need i need to know what okay. uh what the meaning of that what the yeah. meaning of that is good to yes. get more skills for your job thank yes. you excellent answer it is go ahead hi, hi. in my case i i started english to improve myself and I had better job, and because I understand that is never to learn to learn and prepare, because I I have the process uh, the divorce I stand up for me uh, is necessary prepare for my life. Definitely, it is never late to learn, right? It is never late, and you have the capacity. It doesn't matter how old you are. In some cases, you say, ah, but for children, it's easy to learn. Yeah. Yeah, maybe because they are not afraid. And they just say, like, uh, water, water, teacher. <laughs> they just repeat <laughs> and they jump and they participate without, afraid, without being afraid of, hey, no, I am not going to do it right. Oh, no. Eh, Ana lo hace más bonito. No, Daisy habla más bonito. Eric habla más bonito. No. I mean, everybody has a process and you are going to do it on your own pace. But the idea is that you do it, not that you stay there, just observing, right? Do the change, right? You have to be the change. Yeah, it's right? the moment I defend the change. The, the, exactly. The uh, change the change. Yeah, because in the life is the opportunity. You know, I say something to my students all the time, and I say, education is the only thing that no one can take you out. La educación es la única cosa que nadie te va a quitar. Yeah. You can, change, you can change your house, you can change your job, you can change your husband, you can change your house, your, your location, <laughs> your country, whatever. But education yeah. is going to it's going to be with you all the time. So it is continue reaching your dreams. Good, very good answer. Ana, go ahead. Hi. Um, okay. In my case, um, is for don't forget the English. Is because I I am studying in the university for to be a teacher. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I hope <laughs> so. I. I take a uh, free time for the pandemic 
So I'm reading in the in the Facebook that the English cooperative give give some class in English. So I try. Okay. Only for don't forget the grammar, only the vocabulary that is very important. So I am here. So maybe to this year I can start again. <laughs> Okay, to and, and my career to finish your career, you are going to become a teacher of what? English. An English teacher? English ah, English teacher. nice. Keep my number, and once you are ready, I, I have a chance for you there in the academy. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I want for opportunities. <laughs> you see, yes, I, I, I really, I really love to receive new teachers and to prepare them on this job, so you can be. One of these teachers who said like, well, teacher Nati offered me a job and I, I didn't know anything and I learned. So that's that's what I really love to do. So Anna, yeah. my doors are, are open for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I really love that. When people really want to do something and they have the purpose, I will teach whatever I need to teach for them to reach their dreams. Nice, nice job. Keep preparing, Anna. Keep preparing. Jessica, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. In my case, I need to study English. And I have more opportunity to my job. And um, how is it? I I told told to my family in the U.S. when hey. I. Uh, and I went travel to US, I can talk okay. to them. And you can talk to them and you can interact. Nice, Jessica. <laughs> Keep fighting for the dream, better opportunities, and for sure, better communication skills. Fantastic. Thank you, Jessica. Nice answer. And I've been, go ahead. Hi, good evening. Hi. Uh, well, my main purpose in learning English is because uh, I want to travel around the world and when I've done it before and it's very frustrating when someone wants to speak with you and you don't understand <laughs> uh, I don't, you don't understand nothing or you don't anything. understand anything anything, anything. sorry uh -huh. uh, it's very frustrating so my main goal is to learn as much as I can and uh, speak speak fluently with people from another country. And also because in my job is, uh, well, it's not mandatory to, to know English, but some documents that I used to, to handle, I don't know if, it, if yeah, that's that correct. I, that I handle, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that I handle, um, they come in in, ling in in English, so I have to use Google Translator to oh, to understand because it is like technical technical uh, vocabulary vocabulary, and I don't want to use it anymore. I want to understand by myself, and that's why I'm here because I want to improve my skills okay. and be a well, that's it. <laughs> okay, Eda Bing, what is your what is your main area at work? Customs. Customs. So yeah, there are thousands of good sites on the internet, and whenever I find one, I am going to send it to you. Say vocabulary related to customs. Customs. Vocabulary related you. to uh, tourism. Vocabulary related to uh, I don't know paperwork uh, to travel. So. You have to go and investigate more. So the more vocabulary that you get, the easier it's going to be for you to understand the papers. So I invite you to be a little bit more curious on that area. And it's going to help you because you have the fluency, you have the knowledge, you have the language, but you need more, you need more vocabulary. So? Yes. Nice. Thank therapy. you, teacher. Thank you. Katia, go ahead. I have a phrase teacher. Uh I am afraid. I am I afraid. I am afraid, teacher, because 
Okay. I am studying English because I love when I was a child study English. But I, I am forget because I don't practice. Uh, for this reason, I am studying English again because my son, mi hijo mayor, my oldest English, son, my oldest my son. son he speaks English a lot and he likes the, the series in English with my husband. They are attack, attack me in the, <laughs> with the English and someone I don't understand. They, 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 they are talking. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. For, okay. Sometimes I don't understand what they are talking about. Yes. And when I going out with my oldest son, he is speaking English in the. Hi, <laughs> Erika. No, no speaking English because the, the, the people say ridiculous. And he say, no, practice no. English, mommy. Practice English. No. You know. I do it with my son and he is five years old. No, don't feel afraid. The only person that is going to uh, to criticize you is the one that hasn't taken the chance to learn, right? El único okay. que la va a criticar es el que nunca ha tomado el, el, la decisión de aprender. So, yes, don't be afraid and, of that. And in my case, um, me cuesta, I don't... It, I have it's, difficult. My... it's difficult. It's yes. difficult. It's difficult for me because I understand do you say me, but for me, my answer for me is difficult um, ordenar, or las palabras, to organize, to organize, to the, organize the words. Yes, and I am afraid this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't feel afraid because you answered my question and you were not prepared. So? Yes, but I am nervous. I don't, ah, but that's don't normal. But that's nervous. normal that you feel nervous. It's normal, but it's better that you feel nervous than you keep silent. So, nice job. But Patty. my son and my, my husband just practiced with me, and they say, practice, practice, practice. Do it. But don't forget. Do it. Yeah, yes, do it. Teacher. Take the lead. Very good. Thank you. Thank hey, you, teacher. Katia. Mr. Miguel Angel. Go ahead, Miguel Angel. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Why are In you learning case, English? Uh -huh. It's essential now. It's necessary to learn it. So speak it English. Do you to me in your position as uh, my maintenance or maintenance? Maintenance. 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 Uh-huh. My tennis engineer, I frankly carry all the new project, uh, assistant technical in the exam, in the exam, uh, ensembler machines. To ensemble, ensemble machinery. To ensemble. Ensemble. To ensemble machinery and start up for new production in. Okay, Miguel, so good. You need to investigate a lot about mechanical, technical thing, exactly as Eravin was saying. So if it is necessary for your job, Miguel, I encourage you to continue practicing and continue doing it, okay? So thank you for your answer. It was very good. Elba, go ahead. Uh, manufactured. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I, I was, oh, really? Do you, Ay, Miguelito, what happened? Ah, there you go. You were lost. No, 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 he's here. <laughs> the oh, microphone, it's off. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. Hey, but Miguel, you, you have a very important job to do, so you have to prepare. Si tienes cosas demasiado importantes que manejar, you need to continue preparing, Miguel, because it is very nice. Si no, van a decir, va a venir otro más buzo aquí con inglés y me va a quitar el puesto. So, continue preparing, Miguel. Thank you very much. 
Elba. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Hi. Uh, in my case, it's simple. Why am I, am I studying English? Because I want to learn to share more, uh, more with my family that live in the United States. Okay, more with your family that lives in the United States. In the United States. It is a personal challenge. Okay. I, more communication, the sister, uh, nephew, cousin, uh, son in law, daughter. So you have many people to practice, Elba. You have many people to practice. So take good advantage of yes. that. So practice with them. Talk a lot and your communication for sure. It's going to be a lot better. Nice challenge, Elba, to communicate more. Alicia Guadalupe and then Mr. Vidal. Okay. Uh, it's simple. Uh, yeah, study. I understand English <laughs> because I want uh, to I want to I want to help my family and I want I want to have a, a new job uh, because I want to earn a lot of money. Okay. It's so cute, right? You have you have an example to follow right there, right? Ahí está su mayor motivación agarrándole la cara. So, thank you. <laughs> what a beautiful kid you have. So, to help your family, to improve yourself, and to have a better job. Excellent, Alicia. Thank you. Mr. Vidal, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. My experience is this module was very good. I have learned and difficult um, a lesson and um, it's very difficult to understand that. Eh, eh, right. Difficult. Okay. Difficult. Listening uh, is difficult for listen, you. Huh? Listen, yeah. Uh, and um, it's um, difficult a little vocabulary and its parts is much more difficult and because and let's write is much my easiest my the easiest part this is this is part and when good experience as um, I have and to learn practice. more to learn yeah. more through practice to learn more to practice correct through practice so Vidal your challenge is to improve your listening and to improve your skills practice more watch videos investigate look for information on the internet right it is always necessary to be always and constantly improving and investigating. Go ahead, Isaac. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay, hello everyone. Yes, I know you haven't seen me for a long time and I know um, this class, I've been like a listener, but I've been very busy as uh, even you don't know exactly, but the teacher know, knows what is, what is the purpose, why I didn't be here. Um, I I wasn't I wasn't here, and I need to say something very important for you guys. Uh, yes, I know you are improving your English, and as a teach as a teacher said, it's very important to practice. Even you don't don't believe that, but it's very important to practice. Even sometimes uh, you 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 will recognize and you will acknowledge that sometimes um, the only time you can practice. It is our, but you need to get better and you need to get used to speaking in English for a long time. You need to watch videos and even you need to use different applications. You, you have many opportunities to improve your English now because the technology is a very, a very good tool we can take to, to, take, uh, to 
in, improve our English, develop different skills, reading, listening, and speaking. A lot of ways we have in our hands. But sometimes, uh, you know, uh, well, sometimes we have a better job. Or even we are looking for a travel, for, to travel. We want to have a trip to another country. Yes, I know it's very important English. English can open many doors, many opportunities we have in our hands if we can speak in English. Yes, I know. But um, this is the opportunity, you, if, as you remember, I don't know, but before we didn't have this opportunity. And even you need to, you need to look, you need to look for a, a different methods. No, don't be, don't be quiet at the moment. You need to say something and you're practicing with teacher. Teacher uh, has been a great teacher in these classes. Uh, I, I noticed that, um, yeah, but that, that's my advice. Uh, you should go to the Play Store and you need to uh, search for applications. And even you can watch videos in YouTube about different applications you can use in your daily life. But there are many ways, guys. Uh, I need to say, I, I needed to say that because um, this is my last model that I'm gonna take. Um, I won't continue because uh, thanks God, I got an opportunity to work with um, a good company. Uh, but that was, that was my word. And even I need to thank you teacher because you understood my situation and even you are, you are a great teacher. Thank you very thank much, you Brian. It. Thank you for your advice. There are many opportunities, there are many chances, there are many tools that we can use in order to improve our English. Last but not least, uh, Ricardo, go ahead. Ricardito. Hello, Blanquita. Andrea. Se durmieron. They are, they are sleeping. Hello, good morning. Good morning, hello. Um, no, in English, tell me what happened. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's so terrible. No, 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 don't, don't, don't force yourself. Don't force okay, yourself. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, uh, okay. repeat, please, the, the question. The no, question. I mean, no, I'm not going to force you to speak. I, I imagine how hard it is. Me imagino cuánto te duele. But uh, <laughs> why are you learning English? Give me one word. What is your purpose? What is your objective to learn English? Um, um, my objective, my objective is for my, for, for my job. Mm -hmm. Because I knew he speak English and we're uh, white, white English. And I, I want to uh, speak English uh, very well, but I not practice very much. <laughs> okay. My no, my it's good. Yeah. Is uh -huh. Practice, practice, practice. Be este video, be este be constant. Movies, <laughs> movies, boots in English. Um, um, in my in my in my job, um, I I practice practice uh, Spanish, uh, uh, English. <laughs> okay, <laughs> practice, English. practice your English <laughs> because because I I'm my difficult. He's speaking English, speaking. I not, no se me ocurre a veces las palabras correctas para poderme expresar, se me olvida. Entonces, I need vocabulary. Okay, good. So, Blanquita, mm -hmm. thank you very much for your answer. You see, my dear class. Okay, teacher. I, I thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. And I will tell you one thing. I gave you a question to practice, but if I ask you that question, your English was going to be mechanical and you were going to read the answer. Les dije, preparen una respuesta. Si les hubiera preguntado esa misma pregunta que les mandé, hubieran dicho, hi teacher, my purpose in this module was to learn uh, more vocabulary and more things. And it was very mechanical because you were going to know everything that you memorize. And you did a very good job on your oral exam, on your oral performance. A clap for all of you because you gave me original answers 
original English and original production. And that's my purpose. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. Continue working, continue studying. And for the ones who were there, uh, just as oyentes, you can send me the audio, please, on the group. I love you a lot. Continue working. And I will see you in the next module. Have a fantastic night, my dear class. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for all. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for all. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Good night.